Hello everybody and welcome back to another math learning video. Today I brought you guys this problem here, geometry problem, where it says we need to find the area of the rectangle, red rectangle here, okay, and this rectangle finds itself inside a triangle and we are giving the side lengths of the edge of the triangle, the corner of the triangle, to the edge of the rectangle here is 5 meters and here the edge of the triangle here to the edge of the rectangle here is 11 meters, okay? And we need to find the red area here. So let's go ahead and get started. So what can we do? So we got these numbers 11 and 5, but what else do we know? What else can we find out? Well, we know that in this red rectangle, right? It's a rectangle. That means that it's four angles are each 90 degrees. So this angle here is 90 degrees. This means that this triangle here, since this angle is 90 degrees, that means that this whole triangle is a right triangle, okay? And this angle here is also 90 degrees, since every angle of a rectangle is 90 degrees. So since that angle is 90 degrees, this is also equal to 90 degrees because it makes a straight line, and a straight line has 180 degrees. So since this one half, half of it is 90, this other part is also 90. So then that means that this smaller triangle here, this smaller triangle here, is also a right triangle, okay? And now let's look further. So this is 90 degrees, this angle here, and this one is, this angle is also 90 degrees. And here it's the same thing as the other triangle. Since this, this angle is 90 degrees, that means that this angle here is also 90 degrees since they come together to make 180, okay? So that means that this smaller triangle is also a right triangle, okay? So these two triangles are right triangles. And now if we look at them, they kind of seem similar, right? So if they're similar, that means that their angles are the same. So they kind of look identical to one another, but not the size, obviously, but from the proportions. However, we need to be able to prove that. And if they turn out to be similar, then our, we have more information to work with because what are we, what are we actually trying to find? Well, we're trying to find the area of the rectangle, right? So the area of a rectangle is this side length here times this side length here, right? So I'm going to name this side X and this side Y. Okay, so we want to find our X times Y. And let's see if these triangles can help us do this. So we want to see if these triangles are similar. So how do we do that? Well, to be similar, they need to have the same angles, corresponding angles. So we see here that they already have the right angle here. So that's good. So we need to be able to prove that one of the, that these angles here are, are the same. And if they are, that means that these triangles are similar. Okay, so I'm going to name this angle G. So we need to be able to prove that G is equal to each other, and that means that there will be similar triangles. But how do we do that? Well, we see here that these lines that go through the triangle on this part are parallel to one another, right? And since these lines are parallel here, that means that the angles that cut off of them, so these, these two lines are parallel, and this line here, so this line here, the base of the triangle, goes through these two lines, okay? Through the parallel lines. So that means that since they go through at the same angle, that means that these two angles, G and G, are equal to one another, okay? Since these lines are parallel. So that means that G is equal to G. And since these two angles are the same, that means this last angle also has to be the same. So that means that these triangles are similar. So since they are similar, we can set up a proportion, okay? So what are the side lengths of the triangle? So here we have 11th, and this side length here is equal to our Y value that we want to find, right? And same goes for here. This side length is 5 meters and this value is x here that we want to find because it's the same as here. So now we just need to set up a proportion. So we need to 
equal the corresponding divide the corresponding side length together so here from the big triangle it's 11 meters over so this side length this side length here corresponds to the side length here and this side length we determine is x and this is equal to our y value that we want to find y and the y corresponding value is 5 here okay because the triangles have the same orientation okay so here's the right side corresponds to the right side here the left side corresponds to the left side here okay so we have that 11 over x is equal to y over 5. So now we want to work with this. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to multiply by x on both sides. By x. So we get that 11 is equal to xy over 5. Now we want to get 5 away from the denominator. So multiply by 5. So we get that xy is equal to 55 okay well now look here xy is what we were trying to find because that is what's equal to the area right so that means that 55 is our final answer so let's not forget our units so we have meters here and we're working with area so it's 55 meters squared so this is our final answer this is the area of the red rectangle okay so thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye.